Hi guys and welcome to beautiful Ukrainian countryside. It's summer and I'm spending the next two weeks in this wonderful summer house that is mine. Honestly, I think that I picked the house just to match all of my outfits. I had these boots like for years since I graduated 20. Uh, 10, 11, or I don't know, many years now. And uh, now I'm gonna have a little wardrobe just for countryside. And I love some dressing, lots of muted colors, earth colors like navies, greens, khakis, everything just like speaks to me. It's everything that I can't wear really when I travel in a city or when you are in a desert like I am currently. So, this is my little dream house and my little dream wardrobe for summer. Hello you! Now I did some vintage shopping. So I did some vintage shopping when I was in the UK. I apologize there will be a lot of ambient noises because I'm keeping my windows really open to have it easy and breezy and roosters have been going all day long. I don't know what is he calling but I hope you love the sound because I do love it too. First item is actually what I'm wearing. It's this cute top from Stradivarius. I tried it years ago when I just got my second kid but I just knew that at that time I was in a low buy year and I didn't have occasions to wear such item in my wardrobe and I actually tried it together with some jeans that are also stretchy various and uh, I looked back at that archive and I then find it like I found it in five minutes on Depop and I actually like immediately bought it. Uh, this is a size medium and I love it actually, love the print. Thrifted shopping or vintage shopping is really underrated and I think Europe is such a good market for vintage shopping. I have friends who have like loads of money, they are like so minted and wealthy and they only shop vintage. I love the color for this top, the sleeves and the print, it just speaks to what I am vibing with but as I said, it's probably not something that I would be able to wear where I live in Abu Dhabi and it's slightly like more like summery, uh, something for like dream country side house which is exactly what's happening right now. And the jeans that go with this is this uh, Stradivarius Ecru denim. I'm not sure if it's the same collection. Uh, it's a mom slim fit and I only managed to find it in size 36. I haven't yet tried it but you'll see it in an insert and uh, I think it's cute and I'm excited to wear it with my bellies or with any type of other things. It's going to be actually my church outfit I guess. Um, on weekends I'm going to be visiting some religious places or for going to the town where I'll do some you know, like shopping, sit in a cafe or like do some, I don't know, errands. Of course, I needed to get a hat, so this is the hat, it's H&M. I didn't want to bring my own hat because when you go to Ukraine, it's like plane, then train, then ship, and then in the carriage like in the Barbie movie, so it's actually a really long transit and I think a good hat will not survive that and I'm not uh, somebody who travels with a travel hat, I mean like holder for the hat, so this is perfect. It's size uh, medium, 56, and it actually is not small at all. I think it comes a bit large and it's roomy and it's flexible. Um, it's not so stiff at the edges, but I like that it's, uh, it's not gonna be worn. It's really easy. I think it can be folded as well. Like if you're traveling somewhere and you want to have it folded, that hat is such important part of the outfit. I'm glad I have it. Of course I had to get some basics just to have everything here ready to wear. I always wear black and white tank top in the summer. It's so easy and I love these. These are new uh, style scoop neck. This one is actually has row hem and it's uh, like cropped length. I'm wearing it with my vintage skirt that um, I also brought here with flowers. I'm gonna wear it with any type of shorts, with any type of pants. I think the scoop necks and deeper necklines are coming back now. I know maybe it's Bridgerton or not. I just wanted to show you like last year and the years before I was all into racerback necklines and they're good because you also don't need a bra and whenever you move you don't show any cleavage in this area but it's less flattering around the face area so I love how these 
uh, I'm gonna be in my summer wardrobe now. I also got one in white. Uh, this one is not cropped, it's like from the plain collection. I'll have all the items linked here and it's... Uh, I haven't yet worn it. I'm gonna wear it with the shorts that I also got. Uh, yeah, probably with some skirts. I also love the scoop neck because you can wear it uh, towards the fall as a underlayer like with any of your blazers, with cardigans. I think I'm gonna have a cute outfit with a cardigan and a skirt with uh, this tank top. I actually love it. I think I need one in my city wardrobe. <laughs> I got linen shorts in khaki color. I was hesitating. There was like beige, black, and given that I'm taking black and black is my favorite color, I think it matches best this khaki and it's more fun and uh, you usually don't want to wear soft black in the countryside because it kind of doesn't match but I also don't want to wear like bright colors so this is just perfect and I've been buying similar shorts from H&M for summer many times now like uh, over the years uh, I love that they're easy to like pull on there's no like fastening it looks cute it has the pockets really easy just like put on and off you go I got a blouse it's such a beautiful nice fabric muslin it's a double line so it's not see-through can be worn no bra needed I think it's gonna be very cute even with the denim shorts that I'm wearing now with the white shorts I don't see so many shorts like that in actual denim right now I think everybody is doing the linen now or cargo or I don't know what is everyone doing I couldn't find any good like denim shorts for me and I tried many many places. The composition is actually 100% cotton so it's so wonderful and I love the print. Very delicate stripe. Uh, it feels so good. I think it was exactly the same cut of the shirt before in mustard yellow it was my favorite. I was wearing it with black shorts so I know that for me they always make something that goes, goes so well and I wear it all the time. These are the espadrille slides. I love these. They are made so well. They don't look like they're cheaply made. They have rubber on the sole, which is like easy if you go and like it's just a bit dusty. You can rinse it off. Uh, I got a size 37. It's true to size UK for I didn't need to size up in Zara. I usually do size up in H&M. It's great. I think it's such a timeless kind of shoe and um, I would actually wear it both indoors and outdoors. And um, if you want to splurge, I think it would be so luxurious to have these like for your guests. Like just get every like two sizes. 40, 38, 36. Um, maybe a couple of 38 because most people are 40, 38 or 40. That would be so luxurious to have. And they have them in white and uh, some printed colors. I love the black one. It also matches my hat and just the, the overall vibe for me. I shipped here my uh, Zara bag, flat bag. I was loving it, but I didn't wear it so much in Abu Dhabi because I have a lot of luxury bags. And I need something small and cute for the countryside and I thought this color just goes so perfectly with all of the muted colors that I have for the countryside with all of the navies and khakis and with the same shorts I'm excited to just have it here for quick errands or you know go to the church. I got myself a new sweatsuit. I always was like that person who takes something that she doesn't wear anymore in a, in a city and like okay this is can be downgraded to wear you know like in the, uh, nobody sees you basically for the house or but with the loungewear I just wear it quite a bit when I cook and um, so it never looks good and fresh so I'm like oh my god like just buy a new one and uh, yeah this is my rich life I have a cute sweatsuit it's actually really hot here and I haven't been yet wearing it but I think I'm gonna be coming to this house again like in full time in winter time it's quite lightweight I like the fit and I like the color again because it's not always easy to find good color for the sweatsuit it has a bell shaped leg I think maybe you'll be able to wear it as a capri I'll give it a try and the zip up hoodie that comes with this 
is cropped, uh, which is also, I love this and it has a pocket and uh, if I need my comfies, I'll have a set here and I will not need to bring it because they always stick to my room and a luggage. It is very soft inside, it's a fleece, but it's really lightweight. I think the last two times when I shopped, I bought the men's size and they come a bit thicker. So these have just perfect balance of being like thick and not too warm and soft. There's just something that I shipped myself here. I'm gonna have my cute pajama that I've been wearing in Abu Dhabi. I figured like it's not like the vibe of my Abu Dhabi apartment and I'll change it to something modern. Um, I definitely don't need it, but this matches, you know, look at the colors of this place. It matches this pajama just perfectly. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a piece of home with me here. And uh, I had this belly socks for years which I never wore because they're also like navy and uh, whenever I travel I use like black or grey socks or I just have too many and I'm gonna have them here to wear with my wellies when it gets a bit colder. I'll show you other few items that I had for a while and I love them and I ship them here because uh, it's such a great item. Instead of sweats, I would actually wear these a lot. These are a Marks and Spencer chinos that I have size 8. They're such cute quality. It's like super soft, washes so, so well. So I first wore it in Abu Dhabi whenever we were going for different outdoorsy activities like in a desert and then I have another pair of khaki jeans so I brought them here they are my favorite I think Aranas they do really good stuff and these are my uh, previous years of master shows I also just do the vibe and match all of these items and this is Ola Johnson but it's slightly lost the shape but it's still perfect to wear in here so it's gonna have its second life and as a sustainable shopper, I was on a hunt for pre-loved straw totes. The other day, when I had too many of them, we went to Sri Lanka the other year and I just had too many of them, but they were quite small, they didn't really practical and I tossed them and then I actually asked my friends around like who has some straw toe that you don't really use because I want to buy something but not new to support the circular economy and uh, then I went to my friends in Dubai and she has huge wardrobe she never declutters like and I know that she always gets these bags from her like for season resort trips so now I have one for my countryside house uh, I think it would be so perfect to just wear whenever I want to do a picnic, I travel with it, I'll take it to the shops with me because I don't want to just like use plastic here and um, something like brand new wouldn't make sense to get in here and something designer also doesn't make sense to get. So here is everything I got for my dream summer house wardrobe. I hope you love this video. I'll be glad to know where you're from and um, how you're spending your summer and uh, check out my other videos if you love this one. I usually talk about like capsule wardrobe, travel wardrobe. I'm gonna have a lot of cool content of how to pack light when you travel. And I hope you love this and um, I'm gonna see you in my next one.